Go ahead. You got your, you got your fire tower. You got your cell phone towers. You got your uh, weather towers. Your radio towers. Your your TV. All the all the stuff up in your towers. You know, you got your cell phone and your fire. So I mean, they they probably got cameras on them to 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 look and. Uh, that way they don't got to come up here and see it. They just look on the camera. But Yeah, fire like that fire out there. They, uh, where's that fire at out there? You see that? Can you see that fire out there? I can't always see it. They probably don't use it unless they see big gulfs of smoke. Right. Like giant smoke. What you see there is like a yard fire, it looks like. Yard fire yeah. or a fireplace. Yeah. It's more than likely a yard fire because it's a little warm. Oh, yeah. For a fireplace. Them two are the weather towers. And that's the, uh... You know when you get your weather alert on your phone? Uh -huh. That's where it comes from. This uh -huh. tower here picks it up. Wow, cool. And the cell phone tower, just for this area, you know, I believe our cell phone tower's on Oak Valley, you know? Right. And, uh, so this is just for this area. Best spot to be, best spot to put it. Yeah, day, uh, day with my son, isn't it? Can't get any better than that, can you? Look at that, look at that, look at what somebody draw. What is that in the, in the mountain over there? That's a good question. Well, let's take a it look. Looks like somebody just scrubbed it out. Uh, somebody jealous of it or whatever. Look at that. What does that say? Manny? Huh? Manny B. Manny B. Somebody draw it out, didn't they? Somebody made a nice little picture or maybe somebody knocked it out, didn't they? We had to go up to the we had to go up to the uh uh the trout stream and I uh, tell you we got me and Lisa carved our names in, in a tree up there. Maybe we'll go up there one day. Uh, but this is this is me and my son getting to enjoy a few minutes out here in the uh, God's beautiful. There's another, there's another fire over there. The oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Well, you see everything up here. But you know one thing I don't see, people? Oh, that's where they clear, they got a clearing off. Clear off over there? They burning, uh, burning clear off. I, I ain't seen no planes. They still got the planes, uh, down? Not a single plane, not since I've been here. You see any planes, Mitch? Nope. All you see is birds. They got the plane. They got planes still on the ground. I don't know. I mean, they should be flying. They're talking about them planes. You know, Warren Buffett. He got rid of billions of dollars worth of stocks. I know yeah. Bowen. Bowen borrowed, I believe, thirty billion dollars from the government. Oh, really? They got a thirty billion dollar loan, I believe. Wow. So they're gonna be back in business here soon. Yeah, but see, they, uh, the the billionaire dude, he got out of it. You know, he's an investor. He got rid of every bit of his stocks. He's got more than, more than one stock. Yeah, but he got rid of all of them. They said anything that had to do with aviation, he got out of it. And, and, they, and they, people were asking him, so why he do that? What does he know we don't know? You know. I mean, the market is down. Is it just a just a wise decision he's making or something? I don't know. I guess it's going. Do Come something out. else. Looks like he can make a little money back. He's just, um, he's just gonna get out of it. Do something, put his money somewhere else. Probably before all this is over, he'll re reinvest, and then it'll go sky high, and then he'll get out. He'll have more money. Oh, there's a way to do that. Isn't it? I'm thinking about investing when this stuff gets over. When it gets almost over, I think about investing. I think um, uh, I'm still debating on what to invest in. But I found some good. Uh, I guess you'd call them penny stocks. But uh, right now it's like 75 cent a share, and they they usually jump up two or three dollars a share. So I've known it to be up there. And, I mean that's I mean of course, I mean you got 75 cent a share. I mean if you buy 20 dollars worth, it jumps up two dollars something a share, or three dollars something a share. You're making two two twenty five a share. So you got 20 dollars worth, whatever that is. You know that's more than 20 shares. So then you're making forty something dollars, forty something dollars just off of nothing, you know, overnight. 
Yeah. Uh, but you could buy more. You could, I could buy more twenty shares. You know, buy hundred, buy buy hundred shares. Then you make over uh, two hundred dollars overnight. Well, I mean, just every, if everything you did was a profit, then you're gonna get. It. That's what we want to do. We want to invest across the board. You know, I like the tiki hut. Uh, I like the, I like the, uh, the, uh... I mean, you can do it. I like the automated, hey, I like the automated grocery store or the automated gas station type yeah, deal. Yeah, gas know? station don't make any money. No? They don't. Because none of the stuff's yours. You gotta, you go through the Coke company and all them. Well, that's good, stuff. man. You don't have any, you don't have to have all that yeah, investment. You gotta, you gotta have somebody to buy the stuff. Yeah. I see. Well, that's what you gotta do in anything. I just don't know about renting. You, you, know, you can rent people, and then they get to stay. You have a virus, like next next year you're going to have another virus. What are you going to do about it? You're not going to get paid that whole time, right? Because the renters can stay there for free. I don't understand that. They, nobody rides for free, man. You know, you heard that saying, ain't you? Uh, you know what? Your car, be investing in your driving car, you see how that truck was? That was all, you know, it did it by itself. It's, and it don't have that technology of Microsoft and all that. I think it has to be 2013. That was just, that's just probably a, uh, something they added on. You know, that's a kit you can buy in the suspension. More yeah, that was a suspension, a yeah. That's just got, a suspension kit. That wasn't nothing with, the, it didn't come with the truck. No, but I mean, they can. The new one, I mean, the new ones probably come with it. But that's just something they added on. I mean, them tires on it probably didn't even come with it. Right. That's right. And you know what another good thing, another good investment would be in the marijuana, uh, the, the marijuana craze. That's a thing. You know that. Driving cars, cars that drive themselves. Uh, that's Autonomous something. cars, yeah. Autonomous hey, cars. Like, what is that, uh, uh, Johnny? Johnny Car? Johnny Cab? It was a movie, a, a, used to, a futuristic movie back in the 80s. They called it Johnny Cab or something like that. Your mama would know it. Yeah, it's starting to get warm. Well, we got the air conditioning in Lincoln. Hey, it would be hard to believe I come up here in Lincoln. <laughs> I used my Lincoln as a truck before I had my truck. Yeah. I pull trailers with it. Pull, I pull vending machines with it. Drive yeah. it as a truck. I know you got it as a truck now. You can't, it, it, it bottoms out when you hit it. Yeah. Because of all the, you're good. we had a lot of weight. All the supplies. We put a hitch on it. You know, they, don't, they didn't come with a hitch. We my, put a hitch on it. Yeah, mine ain't got no hitch on it either. We're going to have to do something about that. Lincoln's don't, you don't need to be pulling out with a Lincoln, but we do. We, we're different than everybody else. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, people, I, I'm glad you guys come and see us. And, uh, Get the back. Stick with me, man. We're going to do We're going to do stuff like this, okay? This is, uh, as long as we can, we're going to do this, okay? You know, as long as we got, we can breathe and... They don't kill us, okay? I got it. <laughs> this isn't this beautiful. This is the moment. This is what I call, this is family time to me, man. You know what I mean? This is doing this right here. What's wrong with this? How, how do you, why is it so wrong to do this? Huh? It can't be free, man, because you got to have somebody who says you ain't got a right to live here because you don't have a million dollars or you don't have, uh, uh, you got a disease, yeah. Uh, I, I probably die of heart disease, you know, my, uh, my grandfather did, well, I know, I know we're going to die of cancer probably because my daddy died of cancer, so, you know, does that mean I got to have it? Yeah, probably, it's hereditary, maybe. Okay, well, you had the guy out there in the sun, you, I told him to put a shirt on. Yeah, I'm the boy, I can't tell him a day much, but I did, I said, you got to put a shirt on. He said, ah, he blows it off, you know, and he got holes all in him from that, that, that glaucoma, whatever that was, that that did that. He said that's a skin eating from the sun. So I, he, I mean, he did it. It's his life, I guess. He did it his way. But uh, don't don't be out there in that sun unless you got some lotion on or something. You know. Uh, I guess in the new world order, you won't do that. You know, they they don't even, uh, they don't kill everybody. You know. You know what's weird? Uh, I tell you a little story. I, you know, I got the thinking. When I'm up here on the mountain, I, I think, you know who I think about? I think about Noah. Excuse me, wrong person. I think about Moses. I don't know why I messed that up. I was thinking of Moses, but said Noah. Oh, Moses was down in the valley. Just think of Moses being down in that valley down there, right down there. And he saw a, 
a burning, he saw a fire up on the mountain. So he climbed the mountain, and when he got to the top of the mountain, he met with a burning bush, and it was God in the burning bush. And it, it, it's just amazing to think about, you know, just think if that happened today. Would people want to climb the mountain? I would be curious. Burning bait. <coughs> I don't know if it's scary, but I mean, if, it is. <coughs> if you look at God, you, your eyes would burn up, wouldn't it? <laughs> when it if somebody turned to salt or something, what was that? That was, I believe that was Solomon and Gomorrah. You can't look at God or you. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about he was in the, he was in the bush. The oh, bush yeah. lit up. Yeah. He talked to, uh, he talked to, um, most John the Baptist and John the Baptist too, wasn't it? Or what was that? that was going to give his son. Was that Abraham? That was Abraham, yeah. And he talked to God then, you know. And he wanted to. And there was a goat that came. Yeah. Uh, uh, right magically there, appeared. He, magically appeared right there before he killed and sacrificed his kid. But uh, well, my mama said, "Don't call him a kid. He's not a kid." Okay. Well. Yeah. Before he sacrificed his son, that the the, the, uh, the offering was. There for him. That's right. Yeah, that was Abraham, yeah. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It was probably Isaac, wasn't it? Jacob. Which one was he going to kill? Which one told Isaac was first, I guess? Isaac. He was going to kill Isaac then, wasn't he? he was gonna, wasn't he going to kill the youngest one? Was it, was it, I thought it was the oldest. He was going to kill the youngest one? I think it was the youngest one. No, it might have been the oldest. No, I think it was the youngest one. Okay, and that would have been Jacob. I'm not sure which one it was now. We have to go back. So you always got to go back and read, you know? It's just like the Constitution. You got to go back in. I have to go back in that Constitution all the time and look at it. Oh, and, you know, they don't throw it away now, I guess. They don't, I don't know what they don't. Well, I guess we're going to get down this mountain. We'll see you. We'll see you on the next jump. Yeah, we're going to go to see the... We're going to go see the, we're gonna go see the, the documents themselves, uh, we're gonna go. So we got a copy of one here, but we're gonna go to Washington. And uh, when I get my money, we're gonna go to Washington, and we're gonna go see the Declaration of Independence. And we're gonna make them open the ball. And let's look at the Bill of Rights, man. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be cool, man. I think it's something I want to do. We're gonna I'll take you to Virginia, West Virginia, and all the places where they had the, the battles and all. Uh, me and Lisa went there. We want to do it again. But she wanted me to take her to all the, she said, promise me, Gator, promise me you'll take me to all them, all the history states. And I said, I promise, baby, when I get my money, we'll do that. And, uh, you know, she died. But I'm going to try to get her ashes and take them. I'm supposed to be in charge of her ashes anyway. That's what she wanted in that dream, she told. She wanted me to be in charge of her ashes. And now I'm supposed to live in her mama's garage, you know. And she wanted her ashes to sit on Kaylee's uh, dresser. I said, don't you think that's kind of weird, you know? 17-year-old girl, girl got got her nana's ashes on her table. She said, well, and then she didn't say, she said, well, if she don't want me anymore, then uh, I go to the other family members. They don't want me, then, then the friends. And then, uh, and then, you know, but on one condition. And I said, what's that? They said, you got to be able to go with them. They got to take you to, I'm the keeper of the ashes. But then she said after that, her friends don't want it and then it don't matter where she go. And then uh, I talked to her about putting our ashes together. She liked that, she said. And then, uh, you know, and then we like, let's go in the ocean or something, you know, let us fly away, you know. Not in the ocean, but we don't, we're not fish, but I don't want to be in the ocean or drown. And, uh, she didn't want to be in the ground because that's why she got cremated because she didn't want bugs crawling all over. She hated bugs. Um, that's my Lisa. She was a girl. You know what she said? She said, Jesus, please bring her military home safe, all the family bring the kids so that they can see their father or their mothers. Uh, that's what she was. She was a good girl, man. I wonder what she would say about our troops now. You know, oh, Jesus, please stop our troops from killing my grandbaby or hurting my grandbaby. Tell them to open up their eyes and see that this is wrong. That's what I guarantee you. I'd like to see what her diary would have read. Uh, about, I didn't never see her diary until she she left me pages of it. I mean, I I gotta put some of it in the newspaper. She wanted me to how much she loves Stevens County and all that. Um, she
she wanted. She got a few pages she wanted me to put in there, but they won't. They wouldn't take her story, so I got to pay for it. And I don't have any money. And then uh, we gotta get. We gotta take the, uh, her stuff to uh, Kaylee. Uh, she's the uh, beneficiary of it all, uh, which is really nothing. You know, she Kaylee didn't want it. She didn't want her stuff. So I gave some of it to Lisa too, but and some of it, you know, just. It's getting ruined, the trailer's a mess, but uh, we're going to try to get them, get the flag out there. I believe that flag belongs to daddy, her daddy. Uh, she does have a brother, uh, and I'm going to try to get that flag to him. I believe he's the one that should have it. But, you know, I was just, you couldn't make her, it was her daddy, and she wasn't, she wasn't giving it up. Her mom would give it to her, which is probably wrong anyway, but it's what it, what it was, and she wouldn't give it up. I'm going to try to see if uh, Mike can get that flag back to, to the original. I really believe it should be his. But y'all come on back and see us. And uh, we're going to do a lot of things, man. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to hopefully we can forget about this virus at least until next year. But they're not going to let us because they're going to keep it going. Uh, you know, social distancing. Okay. When you got a get that flu, when you get a virus, you get not a virus, you get a dang uh, bird flu like the thing, like what I've seen, you are not going to social distance either. You're going to be dead. It's going to keep you. All right. All right, then. Bye-bye,